Hello and happy Valentine's Day to my my heart club, my continuous line heart club. Okay, so I'm trying one of these crazy filters. They have a million filters, but I don't know if I'm going to be trapped in it or not, but I thought it was kind of cool for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> woo! Woo! All right, good evening and happy Valentine's, everyone. Just thought I'd check in. Today is Monday. It is Valentine's Day, so it's all hearts everywhere, right? <laughs> and I thought I'd do a quick um, continuous line drawing with you, but um, one of the things I want to mention is that, you know, there's, it's, a, it's a, you know, a sweet day to saying hi and hello to friends and family and thinking about who, who you love and who you don't, right? And so one of the things I did in my Zoom sketch sessions is I had everyone do, as a warm-up, octopus hands, right? Because we, um, what would we be if we didn't have our hands, right? And so we have to take care of them and thank them. And, you know, give them some love, which means sometimes warming it up, right? <laughs> so, you know, um, octopus hands are a really good way to sort of wake up the chi in your hands, get it ready to start being loose for drawing. Because the most thing I hear from people is they wish they were looser with their drawing. So the first thing I want to say is warm up your hands, right? Show your hands a little love because... Well, this is how where the magic happens, right? The connection between the head, the heart, and the hands to the paper, right? So let's <laughs> let's warm up the hands here, and tell them we love them. I love you, hands. I love you, hands. <laughs> all right. I am loving what I'm seeing. All the different types and styles of continuous line, and I'm hearing some really great feedback. It doesn't matter if you've just started drawing or if you've been drawing for years, right? There is something about the continuous line that helps you take it up a notch. And what what kind of occurred to me this weekend when I was out at this crazy art event, it's Art Week here in Mexico City, and there was this room, which this sketch doesn't make sense if you look at it. You go, what the heck is that, right? Well, they had these enormous enormous balloons dangling into the center of the room, right? And I, with one continuous line, I started over here somewhere, I drew it, right? And the continuous line teaches you logistic, really mathematics, right? Like how things are lined up. That balloon hits here, which hits that one next to it here, which hits this window here, hits the hallway there, Hits, look, there's even a stairwell here, right? This is super complicated for sure, right? Um, but if, the more you practice continuous line, the more it teaches you logistics and math, right? Architectural, <laughs> how things are connected, right? How we're all connected. Like this line goes right here. So the, and, and, and you can say that it's this far away from my head, which goes around like this, which is connected to this part of my shoulder, which comes out at this portion of the photo. You know, so it teaches you about logistics and how to sort of line things up. Once you get over the anxiety of doing it, which there is anxiety, believe me, I get it with continuous line. People are like, <laughs> one drawing with one line, are you actually, what? It's... And that's why I love to see people starting with baby steps, right? Like flower. Well, I, you know, I don't want to say flowers or baby steps because, you know, in a vase and all that with leaves, it's, it can be a, a little complicated. But it's a great way to start, right? Just hearts. Hearts. Flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I just wanted to say that those of you that are doing it, keep doing it. I'm hearing great feedback from people about how it's helping them to complete drawings, how it's helping them to figure out logistics, background, middle ground, foreground, right? All really powerful stuff that sometimes is a little hard to learn unless you're like in school for it, you know, doing serious lessons. And so a daily practice, practicing it every day, you learn coffee cups, hearts, 
Next month is going to be chickens. <laughs> and uh, But right now we've got some hearts to draw. And uh, I'm going to do a little quick demo. Let me see if I can get out of this special effect without killing everything, right? Because uh, I don't want to stay dazed and confused. There we go. I don't look nearly as festive, but I still have the glasses on, right? Okay, guys, let's uh, let's uh, do a continuous line drawing here. I gotta take these glasses off because honestly, I can't really see in them. <laughs> it's all uh, come on now. All right. La, 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 la. All right. So um, in Mexico City. In Mexico, really, there's balloon vendors. And um, for Valentine's, they're out in full force. Uh, huge mylar balloons, which are just horrendous for the environment. But they look cool, right? It looks, um, let me close that. Yeah, there we go. All right. One of these days, I'll get a better setup here. Um, <laughs> right now it's all just kind of jimmy rigged. There we go. All right, that's what it's gonna do. Be all right. So over the past few days, there's been a number of uh, we're talking huge balloon vendors, not just like twelve. No, these guys are carting around like thirty, <laughs> and. Um, Got a new pen this week, my new Sailor Fude. So, all right, I have given some love to my hands, so they're ready to start working. And um, <laughs> I always get a little tinge of anxiety right before I'm about to start, right? This time I'm not doing a border. Actually, I'm doing a different kind of a border. So I am going to start right here. Whoosh. Here we go. This is a new pen and the line, the nib is so fine. As you can see, I go over things a few times, right? Like if I want them to be stronger, it's not, I, I, there's no like hard, fast rules with like, oh, you can't pick up your pen and make a different line. You can, it happens to me a lot because um, here's the parking meters and stuff. Uh, this is the park here in, Mex in uh, Condesa. All right, and so now I'm gonna jump. See how I did that? I jumped right over here. All right, here's the bench. Let me think about this now. <laughs> now. Oops, see, I just had a little jump right there. Hmm. Here's our balloon vendor. <laughs> you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to adjust his shoe a little bit so it comes out this way. And then, see, by doing this, I it, it made me realize the shoe was not in the right direction. And so I'm going to put it in a different direction. I 
wanted to make them a bit paunchier. Oh, now, he, now he looks like a newsy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put his ear back over here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. He's got a bigger girth of an arm here. And, um... There's ways to correct, right? Like, I'm kind of freestyling this. And, uh... Now, balloons are... It's always a mystery where they're, um... <laughs> coming from, but... Oh. oh my god See, I can't even talk right now because I'm so like, oh my God, where am I? What am I doing? That's all he's getting. I mean, they these guys carry even more, but this is all he's getting. And so, um, um, benches and flowers, and these are trees behind him. This kind of goes off this way. Heavily lots of trees is what I'm trying to say as I'm I don't know if I need all these tree branches, but I'm making them. I mean this is Condessa and Condessa is filled with trees, right? And so here's the um street and uh cars <laughs> see they're just like odd shapes okay and then see I traveled through him and there's people Here's me and my dogs. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm calling it right there. I wanted to make him bigger, but you know, sometimes it's just the way it happens, the way you do the, <laughs> the way it works out. Um, so where's my brush pen? I want to do a little bit more because back here is like crazy trees. Alrighty, there's that, and then, um, 
So let's see. Crazy balloonies. Of course, I'm, I'm just doing this super fast, but you know, sometimes it's fun just to let things happen fast, right? Maybe not all your uh, art, but every now and again, it's fun to do a fast one. That's what we do in my Zoom sketch sessions. It's, uh, you push yourself by doing it quickly and to learn composition and, uh, I'm making these all the same color just to keep it simple. There, and you're like, well, Megan, wait a minute, why is it, well, hang on here because, um, no, no. A little darker down here. Mm, let's see if I can do this <laughs> without getting lost. It's always a little darker down at the bottom there. All right, I'm gonna try to leave some white here to add a little definition. Soften the edges a little bit. Leave some white. Now these are mylar. There'd be there would be some different colors in there, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, get my big brush here. These are trees back here, but I really don't want to do them green because that will bring attention to them. And really, the point here is the balloon guy. It's right up to the balloons here. Parking meters, signs. Uh, I am gonna bring attention to my doggy, because this is mine, right? So I like to keep it personal. I always like to add a little something that is like part of my personality, right? My coat, oops, <laughs> not that dark, all right, yeah, yeah. my jeans, um, I like to wear a little red, <laughs> a red dress, I wore a red dress thingy doohickey today, sweater, that's what I'm trying to say, red shoes, Now, let's see this guy. We're gonna put him in a, um, a red vest. He looks a little young, but let me see if I can make his head any bigger. 
our heads get bigger as we get older. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give him black pants. Oh, I kind of regret that, but that's all right. <laughs> and black shoes. <laughs> Those are really black, huh? He kind of looks like he's sitting under a <laughs> cloud, right? I mean, this guy was not happy, this guy I was looking at. He's kind of like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. anything yet because it's still too wet. Let me see if I can precise and they're actually more fun when they're like a little bit wonk right I mean I try to be respectful I always try to be respectful of the folks here in Mexico City that I draw I don't like to be disrespectful of any of them but uh, you know sometimes it's just um... <laughs> oh yeah you got a little muddy that's all right okay well um, <laughs> there you have it. I'll probably do a few more touch-ups before I post it, but yeah, there's my, um, really happy balloon guy. <laughs> I mean, it's already growing on me, right? So, um, <laughs> again, this is not about precision, right? It's about energy and um fast lines and teaching um logistics and mathematics right like i can't even imagine trying to draw something like this even a year ago i mean i it would i don't think i would be able to do it live on camera while knowing that you know it's going live to a group i don't know well it seems there may be a few people watching but again so the, i just the, i'm glad that this is not what am I trying to say here? It's a teaching tool, the continuous line, right? And so I love that I just drew this guy and he's like under a sad cloud, right? But he's selling Valentine's hearts. And uh, it's just part of, the, <laughs> part of the story I'm weaving, right? Like I do continuous line urban sketching or drawing scenes from Mexico City because I really just want to capture the everyday, the people, the things that happen. A lot of people think Mexico City, God, aren't you terrified there? No, I'm not. I mean, it's a big city, just like any other big city, and there's things that are happening. But there's also wonderful people, people selling, you know, just making a living, just trying to get through the, these crazy pandemic days, right? It's intense here, right? So I like to tr capture the everyday and the people that are here and selling and just trying to make it right i'm just trying to make it and they're trying to make we're all trying to make it here right and sell a balloon for valentine's day right so anyways i will post this when i can i would probably do a few touch-ups to it but i just want to say keep hanging in there guys because the love is there the love is here <laughs> and the continuous line will help you in all areas of your art right like i see it you know, I can go out and sketch on location and do it really quick without much anxiety. It's not always good. It's not always perfect. It's not always right. Um, but that's not even the point, right? I'm becoming a more accomplished artist. And the more I practice continuous lines, the more I practice painting. And even just painting with a <laughs> live in a group, it's helping me, right? So thank you for helping me. And happy Valentine's to you. Happy Valentine's to your hands that make the magic happen and, and to your head and to your heart, right? Stay true to all of them. And look at this, my phone keeps drooping. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day. Take care. Stay safe. Big love.